Mr. McCarthy, Minister for Transport, <laughs> Andy Ford, Chairman <laughs> of the South Australian Motorsport Board, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. May I start by recognising that with so many countries and cultures represented from across the globe, and it must be said across the political divides, we should acknowledge that we meet here today on the traditional lands of the Barakia people and that we respect their spiritual attachment to this place. Those of you who have come here today, on a trust for you, enjoyed your visit and I hope that you have been inspired by the passion that you have felt from the teams you have visited. It's always an amazing experience to be surrounded by bright young people themselves excited by their passion and to many the culmination of the dream to participate in this event. One young person came up to me earlier this morning and told me that she had seen a documentary about the World Soda Challenge when she was six years old. And the dream of being part of the event since. And today that dream comes true and we welcome all the teams from all the countries around the world who have chosen to come to Darwin and to come to Australia to be part of this event and I think we should all really welcome them. It is truly a great adventure and of course an adventure of dreams. So what we see here are some of the world's most efficient electric programs. No doubt in years to come we'll all be driving electric cars and it matters not whether that electricity comes from uh, fuel cells, onboard batteries recharged from home, ideally from solar cells, perhaps on the roof of the house or the garage. The powertrain in the car is the very powertrain being developed in the homes of protection by these guys and the powertrains that will not propel the electric cars of the future. Traveling down the highway, uh, at normal road speeds on the power of the sun is very thrilling to those who understand the imperatives of sustainable transport. But it's not only a scientific adventure for the young people gathered here today, but a pioneering adventure. A pioneering adventure into and across the interior of our great nation, which far too few of us as Australians see. The overland crossing of Australia is also a spiritual journey. But the science, technology and engineering that celebrate, of course, is front of mind. And if we put that to one side for a few moments, we get to the enormity of the logistical challenge in bringing the team, its solar car and all its equipment here to Australia and uh, travelling across our magnificent country. We can camp in the desert wherever they get to at the end of each day with a degree of self-sufficiency that even the urban pioneers would understand. Solar cars are built for passion. Solar cars run the sunshine. However, it's the mighty dollar which sustains us. And I would like to recognise the vision and support of the OLIA for putting their name to the event. And I trust that being part of it, we will exceed their expectations. <coughs> Our pioneer sponsor, the South Australia Tourism Commission, is ably represented here today by Hitta Rashid, the General Manager of Events in South Australia, and we acknowledge you and thank them for their support. And here on the steps of Parliament House, of course, yeah, yeah. is a very fitting place to recognise the government of the Northern Territory, your government, without whom we cannot exist. And it's not just the dollars they provide, the help and support of what can start the Northern Territory major events is vital to our operation and makes us feel more like we belong to the Territory. All well, we thank you and its staff for all your good work. Simon Saunders and his group of people's standards of compliance are also essential in the region to the event and we thank Bill Muir and his team for the able of humour and guiding and supporting us through the process of getting us on the road. To our commercial sponsors, Internet, Citizen, ABR, Michelin, we strive to meet your expectations too. To our civic support, especially Darwin City Council and Adelaide City Council, we thank you. The RIOs and the CSIRO give us our scientific credibility. And I must mention the team at South Australian Motorsport. 
Mark Warren, the Chief Executive, will be travelling with us to see how the event unfolds. To our immediate team, those back at Mission Control, my own team of volunteers, especially David Kitchen and Wendy Matthews, we couldn't do it without you. The Leonia will serve a challenge is an event which defies definition. It challenges our perception of the cars we drive and the fuel which powers them. By seeking new and different ways of addressing our personal mobility, we see young people not only dreaming of a greener, greener future, but working hard to make that dream a formality. In very few moments, we shall have the Honourable General McCarthy, Mr. Transport, away the Lord of Irish, and thank his son. First, we shall honour Australia with the national anthem. Chips, widely recognized as the best team in the United States. And these guys are going to have to run to keep up and get in that support vehicle as the teams merge in at the end of the start line. Our own Australian team, give them a cheer. One of our Australian teams, of course, this one from the University of New South Wales. In Sydney, Sunswift, the brand new car, and they're out to show something special, and we wish them well. Next up, we have Tokai University from Japan, the current world champion holder of the World Solar Cup. Tokai have had the dramas of the natural disasters in their country which has put them back but they've risen to that challenge and got here to be with us this morning. The Belgian car, Unicorn, a great team, 15 students from Leuven, been working full time for more than a year on this car. This car looks different because it's got concentrator cells and it is a very interesting innovative technology. Devices within that car attempt to track the sun and compensate for the changes in angle. Next up is Zenith from Stanford University in the US, an Ivy League University, and you have to admit this is a beautiful car. This is a brand new car, the latest of the many cars that Stanford have built, and uh, they have great support from industry. Next up is Ashia University. With, uh, I'm not sure if it's the Murasan who's driving this morning, but uh, certainly the champion solar car in Japan has uh, done extremely well on the track at Suzuka on a number of occasions and a number of events around the world. We welcome Ashia here and we wish the Murasan well because I know he's. He's come here, he's once about to have a baby, but he's still come to race in the world so much What one? Okay. So we have a non-starter on the grid, which is interesting. So next up, I believe, the cameraman steps to one side so I can see who it is. Thank you very much. Uh, we have uh, Calgary.
This is the Calgary car from Canada, um, Sushri Chaxium, the third car that this group of students have built. And uh, we're very pleased to have them here. They do bring a special <laughs> spirit to the event and we wish them well on their very trip. Nanyang University from Singapore, uh, a late entrant, but nonetheless a welcome entrant. Uh, Singapore has a great uh, history of fine engineering, innovation and development, and we welcome Venture Fire from University, from University Nanyang University from Singapore to the event and wish them well. Now this is a great Australian car, these are a special chair, this is the Aurora car a non-aligned team in terms of universities, a team of volunteers who have built a number of cars and been part of this event since 1987. And their founder, Dave Future, unfortunately moved on to a better place last year and I'm sure he'd be very proud to have been here and seen the Aurora car on the start line. Another American entrant, Cal Sol from University of California, Berkeley. Another non-profit team supported by Volkswagen who are very interested in the bright young engineers from this institution. And as I said earlier, the event crosses the political divide and we have a team here from the Kazmin Islamic Azad University in uh, Iran. And it's a delight to have two Iranian teams here in Australia. Eight students from electrical, mechanical, and aerospace have been working on this car for 18 months and we wish them well. Next up we have Apollo from Taiwan. Uh, the Apollo team was founded in. Uh, the, the Apollo team was founded in 1998 and uh, uh, Professor I and his team have been here for a week or so now preparing for this event. Good luck. Now the next car we have coming up to the line is uh, from Sakai University in uh, Turkey. It's their um, second participation in the event. They came in 2009. They have some experience at the event now and they've come back better prepared. And uh, we're sure they're going to do extremely well and we look forward to following their progress as they travel down the track. Now the University of Waterloo is from Waterloo in Canada, the team is called Midnight Sun, I think they're quite close to the Arctic Circle um, and uh, they have a very inspiring car and have done extremely well in their engineering. The inspiration was from Night Rider, the robot car from Titan's Guide to the Galaxy. Next we have a, another brand new team to the event, a team from Italy, Team Undo Solar. I have to say, as first time teams, they uh, always have many, many questions and we're very pleased to answer those questions and these guys have been an absolute delight to work with in preparing for this event, so we wish them well. Another European team is coming up, the Solar Energy Races from Switzerland, from the Bula Group, uh, which is a Swiss company in process engineering. 